What's going on guys, Become a Prime here, and today's tutorial is going to be how to remove a subject from a background in Photoshop. Uh, I recently did a video with Andrew Can, a behind the scenes video regarding how we did the TubeBuddy photo shoot for their thumbnails, and one of the most request things since that is how I got the rendering to look so smooth and uh, so realistic and not have any of that, you know, white After Effects going on or anything like that that makes it look very unreal or very cheesy or very rushed. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I went about doing that. And for that we're going to use actually the original photo that was in that thumbnail. So the first step to taking care of this is to make your selection. And now there's various ways of going about this. There will be people that'll tell you pen tool is the way to go. There'll be people that'll say, you know, you could, you know, just mask it out by hand by using brushes on a layer mask. I'm one of those people that just uses quick selection. There are certain cases where I will use pen tool. There are certain cases where I will use this. There are certain cases I'll use other things. It's all based upon what necessarily you're doing, but I find that quick selection in the case of doing this one works the best for me. So that's what I'm going to be showing in this tutorial today. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, increase this size just a little bit. And then go ahead and brush this over. And it's a pretty easy process to get everything selected. Now you'll notice it's not perfect. It's not including some of these fine hairs up here. And that's actually what we want. And you'll see why here in a second. Now because of the method I used to select this, I'm going to have to go ahead and inverse it because I want to make sure that he is selected. I want to render out the background. And it's a lot easier to select this than to go in here and brush through this. So that's why we went ahead and did that method. If you want to select him instead of the background, you would not need to do a inverse command. And if you have any questions about an inverse or you're not using a Mac, you can go up here to select, and then there's the inverse right here, and that'll actually tell you what the command is for your machine if you ever need to know that. So then our next step here, we're going to go up to Select in Mask. And this is going to put us into this special UI. Now, if you don't have Photoshop CC, I believe it's since 2017, this may look a little bit different to you, but don't worry, the functionality is very, very similar. And while the algorithms have improved, you should be able to do this with just about anything. I could say at least CS6 could do this. So if you're not even using CC, you should be fine. Now one thing I like to do, turn on Smart Radius, and I put it to about 3, and this is what I find works best for my specific camera. These are shot on a 5D Mark IV, which is about a 30-ish megapixel camera. If you have something that's higher resolution, you may want to have a higher radius. If you have something that's lower, you may want to have a lower radius. It all depends on what you feel works best for your specific device, so go ahead and play around with that one. The next step here, we are going to go over to the Refine Edge Brush Tool. It's our shortcut if you just want to get to that. And we're just going to make sure it's a nice small brush, and we're going to brush right along the hair here. Now the goal is to not get too much into the hair because when you get into the hair you're going to notice that it when you do the final process that things can start to look a little strange depending how far you digged into the hair which is why you want to stay on the very outside of it as close as you possibly can. And now when you get to here our final step is going to be to go down to decontaminate colors just hit that check mark and boom you can see the hair is so clean. Uh, you could easily put it onto a thumbnail like this and it would look great. All right, guys. So I just want to add one last bit to this video. And I want to show you guys the technique I have shown is universally applicable to just about anything you're going to run into in the business, whether it's people or objects. As you can see here, we have an F18 Super Hornet. And I can take this, which is straight out of camera, no adjustments and then go to this, which is the now rendered out photo, over to here to make the thumbnail for this video. 
And I do hope that this tutorial was helpful for everybody. And if you have any questions regarding how to do this with, uh, you know, more advanced backgrounds or anything in general, go ahead and hit me up in the comments section or on social media. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video, and we'll see you next time.